Hey and welcome back in this video tutorial we're going to uh, simulate this blanket so basically we're going to model it organic blanket so the way we're going to do it we're going to take this model this sofa model and we're going to put it into blender that's a free software and then we're going to have a simulation of a blanket falling and we're going to get this result and then we're going to bring it back to SketchUp <laughs> Okay, so for this demonstration, I download this sofa, and here I have it here. So the first thing I want to do, uh, I want to export this to a 3D model, uh, and then I'm going to take it into Blender, and then we're going to do a simulation, because I don't want to uh, model a uh, blanket. Okay, so the first step I'm going to do is File, Export, uh, 3d model and here I can choose the file so a lot of them works with the blender um, I will choose the 3ds file before that I want to add something I want to wa add a reference point so I'm going to do it uh, t uh, 200 millimeters by 200 just a box small box to have in uh, like a reference and I'm going to put it up a hundred okay so here I got my box and uh, this is going to be my reference point so next I'm going to uh, export 3d model now and I'm just going to save it on my desktop I'm going to call it uh, this and we're going to uh, choose file, uh, 3ds file um, and options, we'll just keep it all like this and uh, we we'll call it sofa and export okay so now in blender blender is a free software all you need to do is go to blender.org and download the software and all you have something similar to this what you need to do the first thing is to click anywhere inside once you click inside you get this uh, window and the main difference between uh, blender and any other software that you select with the right click you click something it's with the right click it will select if you click with the left click We'll just we'll move this cursor, but this not for doesn't no, we we don't need to get into this. So um, I'm going to uh, click right click on this and click delete and delete this and delete the the ca the camera and I'm going to delete the la lamp. Now what we're going to do is file and we're going to import and we're going to uh, 3ds studio and. Uh, on our test we have our sofa we're going to import our sofa so here we got our sofa um, what we're going to do now is we're going to click shift a and we'll get the menu to add stuff into the scene so what we want is a plane we're going to add a plane and uh, we'll add it on the top where we have our cursor so basically that's what the cursor would do but whatever now we're going to move it and with the red we just got uh, click and with the left click I'm just pulling it over and I'm just going to uh, position it on top now I want to scale it a little bit so to scale this is the move symbol move arrows and this is the scale so here I click on the scale and now I can scale it down a little bit something like this maybe something like this okay this is uh, good enough um, I'm going to move it a little bit more and I'm going to rotate it a little bit uh, so the rotate is the middle one I just click on this uh, middle one and after I have this uh, symbol here I have it like this standing in there the next thing I want to do is um, I want to do shift A again and add another plan and I'm going to move it to the floor so I'm just going to move it down to the bottom this will be our floor 
somewhere here. Um, okay, this is good enough. And now I want to add some more. Um, now it's just a big. This our blanket is just a big piece of like wood or whatever mesh. So I want to go into bring divide it a little bit. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to press tab, and tab is on top of the caps lock, on top of the shift, on the left on the keyboard, tab. And once I click tab, I go into edit mode. Once I'm in edit mode, I'm clicking W. And the first option is subdivide. Now after I click, I, I don't click anything, I have this menu, and this is only uh, only in, in the beginning of the command. So uh, if you lose it, just click W again. I'm going to put it up to like, um, let's do it uh, 10. 10. 10 is okay, and uh, I'm going to click W again and click subdivide again and this will be great this is enough the next thing I want to do is click tab and now I'm out of edit mode so um, I'm going to move it a little bit more down and now is the um, the the physics we're going to this tab and on the on the side on the right side there is the physics option I'm going to click on the physics option and I'm going to click on cloth. I'm selecting the the blanket and I'm clicking on cloth. I'm choosing a cloth so uh, in this case I'm going to choose cotton and I'm going to put um, here uh, the quality to 10 and here on the self collision I'm going to put on and I'm going to put 10 and same for the quality here and I'm going to put 10. Now I'm going to select the, the, the sofa and I'm going to make it a collision. And this is on the, on the physics tab. Same for the, for the other cushion and for the floor. So now what we want to do is uh, we want to click on the play button here. Once we play on the play button, we lost our floor. By mistake, I put it instead of collision. I put a cloth. So I'm going to X the and I'm going to make it a collision. So now I'm not going to lose it if I do it again. But I don't think I need to do it again. I just need to choose a position that I like. So this one looks a little bit good, but I have here some problem. So I'm going to start it again, and now it's going to be much better because I have my floor and I give it to run a little bit and once I'm happy I'm just clicking pause uh, you know what I can do it a little bit more and once you're happy you just pause it and you can go back with those arrows where it says 17 um, to find if there is any um, one that you like better so this one looks good now I'm going to select this cloth and um, I'm going to the ranch here. This is the modifiers. And I see I have here a, a modifier that called cloth. And this is basically the option to change um, the simulation. So I'm going to press apply. And now I'm going to add uh, a, a, a modifier, a subdivide. And I'm going to put it up to 2. So I have it subdivide nice and I also going to click apply and the next um, I want I'm going to use do use another modifier and this is a solidify solidify will give it some thickness you see now it has some thickness you can see it here I'm going to put it down to 0 0.05 not to be so thick okay you can put less or whatever you want and this is also I'm going to do apply now I'm going to erase everything I don't need in, the, in this uh, scene. So this is the floor. And I'm going to keep this uh, cube and my blanket. Okay, so fi now for finally to exporting. So basically you want to try and keep it in low, low geometry. Try not to put a lot of subdivision. Like when you put the modifiers, try not to go with uh, the subdivision modifier too high. 
so anyhow uh, to deselect everything you click A or to select everything you click A again so I'm going to deselect everything I'm going to file and going to export and under OBG file OBJ so under OBJ I'm going to call it 0.0.1 zero, zero, um, uh, zero, zero uh, I had some testing here before and I'm going to export OBJ and now I'm going to uh, file uh, to I have here a new uh, file of um, a SketchUp. So I'm going to delete uh, uh, everything here, and I'm going to import, and I'm going to OBJ. Choose OBJ. Choose import OBG. OBJ. So um, I I got it back now. Um, takes like a few seconds so I got this back and it says a few arrows whatever two materials and everything and I got this here and I got the blanket now the problem is very small so that's why we have this box so I'm going now to my box on the other um, model and I'm going to change it's 200 millimeters whatever it is you know and I'm going now back to uh, my blanket and I'm going to take this and I'm going to I'll click here and write 200 mm. Enter. You ask me, yeah, do want to definitely want to change it? Okay, so now uh, if I click uh, now, if I select this and I'm going to Control C this, copy it, and I'm going to Control V this. Uh, fix now. Everything is okay. Great. And I'm going to position one on top of each other, and voila. I can go in this model and erase this box and now it's a little bit floating so basically that's because the collision uh, options whatever so but if you will take it up it should just match perfectly it could be have some a little bit still like here you see but uh, and now this one is also we can erase so we have this blanket so um guys thank you for watching please like and subscribe uh for more videos or this was um too advanced or something just keep a, put a comment down below and uh thanks <laughs>